You're suing Mr. Jackson for several things. You're suing him for moving expenses. That you're not going to get. The relationship didn't work out. The fact that you had children there is unfortunate, but you knew you had children that going into it. You hadn't left a stable situation to move in with him. You left an unstable situation to move in with him. I did not leave an unstable situation. Yes, you did. You were living with a roommate. That's an unstable situation. That's not living in your own home with your three children. So you're not getting your moving expenses. And you're not getting expenses for an illegal eviction. That's not what illegal evictions, the whole idea of an illegal eviction is about. When two people don't get along anymore, Anymore, and there are children that are not getting along anymore. People who are not married should not have to stay in situations where their children are exposed to constant arguing between adults and constant arguing between each other. So you're not getting any money for an illegal eviction. Now, now we're going to talk about the one area that I'm going to consider, and that one area is money owed for the return or value of property that you left. You moved in in July. Yes. When you moved into Mr. Jackson's house, and be very careful of your answer. Mr. Jackson had a fully furnished house. No. What was not furnished? The bedrooms weren't furnished. Okay. Did you bring bedroom furniture from your friend's house? Yes, I did. What did you bring? A king-size bed, a twin-size bed, and a toddler bed, 60-inch TV, and a 45-inch TV, and then all of our own personal belongings as far as clothes and stuff like and that. And clothing. Now, Mr. Jackson, did Miss Butler move in with those things? No, ma'am. What did she move in with? She moved furniture in... Furniture-wise? No furniture. She moved in with totes and bags of clothes. She's talking about a king-size bed. The beds and the toddler beds, I purchased those out of my pocket with, from her friend... That's not That true. she went to move in with. Which friend? The her friend, that Tamaya, she that she went to live with when she left me. So is what you're telling me those beds were purchased from Tamaya? The twin-size bed and the toddler bed. My kids already had beds and I had beds. So you purchased the twin bed and the toddler bed from Tamaya? Yes. The person who she went back to after you told her to leave? Yes. How much money did you pay her for those two beds? It was like $70, 65 70 bucks. $35 for a toddler bed is what he paid her. Well, I gave her Shh, 70 bucks. Sh so. so he gave you $35 for a toddler bed? Yes. And you gave that to Tamaya? Yes. And what about the twin bed? The twin bed, I already much? had the twin bed and the king size bed because my kids are sleeping in beds before we got to his house. And you brought those beds from whose house? The roommate's house. You have receipts for either the king size bed, the twin size bed, 45 inch television, or the 60 inch television? I do have receipts. I don't have the exact purchase receipt, but. Well, that, I, I, that's what I need the exact purchase receipt. No, because they were purchased beforehand, before I even moved to his house. I've had those items over a year. I don't keep receipts. Not most of the time, I don't keep receipts. I mean, I didn't expect to be here. I didn't expect him to not return any of my things. 45-inch and the 60-inch television set, where did you purchase them and when? One of the TVs I purchased in a pawn shop. One of the TVs I purchased... Okay, so you purchased which TV in a the pawn shop? The 45-inch. And what about the 60-inch? I bought it from a friend, my daughter's godmother. When? Well, the beginning of 2018, right around tax time. Tell me how much you paid her for it. The 65-inch TV, I paid her $350 for. And what's her name? Ashley. Ashley what? I don't know her last name. It's your name. daughter's godmother. You just told me you purchased it from your daughter's godmother. She's Ashley's... only the godmother because she's the girlfriend of my daughter's godmother, so they're both godmothers. Last name? I don't know her last name. Telephone number? 702-2. 